Now at four, the investigation continues tonight in New Bedford into a deadly shooting. Today, police identified the victim as 35-year-old Eric Jose Carlos of New Bedford. Now, we first brought you this story as breaking news last night at 10 and 11. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer joins us live from where this happened with how the neighborhood is reacting and what they are saying about the home that the shooting occurred at. Brittany? Well, Kim Shannon, the Bristol County DA's office tells us the investigation is still in its early stages. Therefore, the details right now are pretty limited. What we do know is that the shooting happened last night, Monday evening at this home on the corner of Hillman and Summer Streets. When they arrived, police found the victim on the porch. Flashing lights echo off Hillman Street homes, including one where a man was shot. The blue sight grabbing the attention of neighbor Judy Pina a few doors down. I saw the lights, the red and the blue police lights. And then I came down and I heard that somebody got shot and somebody died. And I'm like, are you kidding me? The victim, Eric Jose Carlos, was rushed to St. Luke's Hospital. The 35 year old was pronounced dead less than an hour after the shooting. 12 news cameras captured the active scene Monday night as investigators went in and out of the home for hours. A home neighbors tell me is a stark contrast to the rest of the area. They're usually pretty quiet. Down that end of the street, that house, it's just, it's awful. I mean, I feel bad for the people who live there. There's a lot of people who come in and out and it's constant, constant traffic. So hopefully they'll do something about it. I believe something else happened at this home. I believe a stabbing or something. This was a while back. Scott Lopes has lived in the city his entire life. He walks the neighborhood often and tells me it's alarming. He was outside the home just hours before the shooting. Was sitting right at that corner waiting for my my friend's son to get out of school so I could pick him up. It's awful. I don't even know if my son wa my my friend's son I don't know if he wants me to pick him up and bring him a different way now. The deadly incident happened ahead of the sunset in daylight. Pina tells me the home is near a church and school, making the situation even worse. I know it's crazy, like six o'clock, mm -hmm. six o'clock. I mean, there's kids that live in this neighborhood too. Kids that live two doors down. They don't need this. I'm hoping they find the person who does it, who did it rather, you know what I mean? I really hope so. And at this hour, we are still working to gather more information on any potential suspects or what might have led up to this incident. The DA's office does say no arrests have been made at this time. Kim Shannon and Brittany, I heard you mention that there is a church and a school close to the home where this shooting occurred. Just how close are we talking? Well, Kim, if we turn the camera just slightly, you can see the home is here and then really just right across the street on Hillman Street here. This is St. Lawrence Martyr Catholic Church. So this is the church that's right across the street. And there's also a Catholic school, Holy Family, Holy Name School. That's just 400 feet down the street here, and that has grades at preschool through eighth grade children. Kim. The neighborhood on edge there. Brittany Schaefer live for us in New Bedford. Brittany, thank you. The 35 year old man is dead following a shooting in New Bedford. The Bristol County District Attorney's Office says Eric Jose Carlos was shot once on Hillman Street. Now the investigation into what led up to the violence and any suspect is underway. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer joins us live from where this happened with more on how it's changing neighbors routines. Brittany. Well, Mike Shannon, the Bristol County DA's office tells us police found Eric Jose Carlos on this front porch. He was then rushed to St. Luke's Hospital, where he was pronounced dead less than an hour after he was shot. It's a route Scott Lopes walks often, including Monday, just hours before a deadly shooting. It's awful. I was sitting right at that corner waiting for my my friend's son to get out of school so I could pick him up. Now the lifelong New Bedford resident is thinking twice about bringing a sixth grader by the home. Uh, I might go a different way. New Bedford police were called to the home on the corner of Hillman and Summer Streets just after 6 p.m. When they arrived, officers found Eric Jose Carlos on the porch shot once. 12 news cameras captured investigators going in and out of the home for hours. A home neighbor Judy Pina tells me has had problems in the past. Now she's demanding action and more patrols. That house, it's just, it's awful. I mean, I feel bad for the people who live there. There's a lot of people who come in and out and it's constant, constant traffic. So hopefully they'll do something about it. Pina didn't know the victim, but says she hopes he gets justice soon. No one needs to go that young. This is a rare occasion. This, we don't have murders in the neighborhood, believe me, we don't. Hoping they find the person who does it. 
and the DA's office says no arrests have been made at this time. This Hillman Street home where this happened is right across the street from this church here, St. Lawrence Catholic Church, and it's also just 400 feet away from a school that has grades pre-K through 8th. Live in New Bedford tonight, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News.